I'm Alexis and welcome to a Florida reading vlog. We have made it to Florida. We got in around 3.30 in the afternoon. We went out to eat right away at this place by the water. There were these birds that they were really cute. I thought I had some vegetarian sushi, had a nice drink. And now we are back at my mom's house for the night, just going to relax because we have a very busy and early day tomorrow but I had to give you a reading update because on the plane, I was able to start Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. Um, this one is really, really fun. It's like a cozy fantasy. Um, I haven't seen The Princess Bride, but a lot of people say that it's like that, except that the girl saves the guy. Um, so in this one, Tress lives on a little island. She's only known this island and it is surrounded by the Emerald Sea, which is not water, it's actually spores. And they're very, very dangerous. If they get wet, they grow into these vines and they can kill you. So she is stuck on this island her whole life and she's happy. She doesn't wanna go anywhere. She's in love with a boy and she collects her cups and she's just happy to live on this little island until one day the boy is sent off to find a wife and his father the king comes back and the boy does not so tress ends up having to leave the island to go rescue her guy i read about 200 pages on the plane so i got pretty far in and i am loving it so far it is so cute there's a talking rat character she has made her way onto this pirate ship and so it's just really really fun i don't think i've ever read a pirate book before but i'm really really enjoying it Tomorrow, we are going to Key West. We are taking the Key West Express Ferry from Fort Myers Beach down to Key West, obviously. And it is like a three to four hour boat ride. So I will be bringing Tress. And I just think it is the perfect book to be reading for this trip. I'm going to be reading it on a boat. Well, Tress is on the pirate ship. So I'm just looking forward to that. I think that will be really fun. And then in Key West tomorrow, we are just making a stop at the southernmost point and then just kind of walking around visiting shops. We are going to Ernest Hemingway's house that has now been turned into a museum slash cat sanctuary so that's really really cool can't wait for that and to see all the cats and yeah i'm just going to be making my way through tress and i will check in with you when i have read some more
made it to part six of trust oh i wish i had been filming myself reading because literally tearing up um couldn't read through the tears it is just so sweet it like i mean it has the found family trope that gets me instantly um so yes, yeah, very close to the end so i figured i would check in and let you know what's going on um, so I think I last talked to you when I was about 200 pages in. I'm about to hit the 300 page mark. I don't know if there's a part seven. I feel like this might be it. Um, part seven might be like the epilogue or something. Anyways, um, loving it so much. Like, I think this is going to be my favorite book of the year so far. And I don't know if anything will top it. I love this. We did just have a very high stakes thing happen. Um, I was very worried for some of these characters that I've grown to love so much and like with a cozy fantasy you don't expect that. I thought everything was going to be happy and rainbows the whole time but no shit got real. Oh, it was so tense like I had to put the book down and go do something in between that scene I'm just, I'm so happy with how it worked out. I just, I did not expect to love Tress so much. I did not expect to love the side characters so much. I mean, Fort, what a little angel. I've got to go finish this because I have to know what happens. I just love this book so much. If you've been putting off reading it, go start right now. I don't know what you're waiting for. Good morning and happy Easter. It is our last day in Florida and my last day to finish Tress. I'm definitely gonna finish this before we get on the plane and then I have another book to start later that I will tell you about then. Um, so yeah, I have about 30 pages left. I was really trying to finish it last night but I ended up falling asleep. So we have really no plans today. We went to the pool first thing this morning, had to swim one last time before going home to cold New York. And um, yeah, now we're just, we're gonna start brunch pretty soon. And then that's really it until we head to the airport around two o'clock. So I have lots of time to read between then. And yeah, still loving it so much. Nothing has changed. Um, I'm, I'm so obsessed. Like, yeah, I stand by what I said. This is going to be my favorite book of the year. Like, look at all my tabs. The purple ones are mine and the green ones are Dan's because he actually read this before me. Um, 
and like it was my book it was on my tbr shelf but since he's read it he's been like when are you reading it you have to read it soon when are you reading it so that's really funny and then just seeing like what he tabbed and yeah it's really cute to be able to share a book like this so i can't wait um it's just so sweet it's I can't stop smiling thinking about it. It's definitely the found family. I just love it so much. And then like the pirate adventure, who knew that I liked pirate books? I definitely need to read more. I'm going to go finish Tress and eat some breakfast and I'll let you know what I think of the ending. I have just finished Tress. I have no words. I have no critiques. I have no criticism. This is literally the perfect book go read it right now. I'm calling it. This is in my top 10 of the year. I love it so much. I want to reread it immediately because it was just perfect. There are no like plot holes or questions. Like as soon as the reveal was revealed, everything made sense. Um, wow. I love this book. I love this book so much. back to close out this vlog. I did end up starting Bride by Allie Hazelwood on the plane ride home, but you'll have to wait and check out my next vlog to see my thoughts on it. For this one, just finishing it out with Tress, and this was my last book I completed in March to count towards the Realmathon readathon. The readathon was so much fun. I will definitely be participating again next year, even though I have not so great news that Team Blood, the team I was on, came in fourth place. We are the losers of the readathon, but that's okay. We'll just have to do better next year. Overall for March and the Ramathon readathon, I ended up reading 11 books and I think I ended up with about 329 points for Team of Blood. So I'm happy with it. That's a good reading month for me. And with having so many high ratings, it was a fun readathon. I will definitely be participating again next year. I mean, I have to come back. I can't be a loser again. So if you've made it this far into the video, please leave me a boat emoji or a pirate emoji maybe for Tress and all of the fun boat rides I took on this vacation. I hope you guys liked this. It was a little bit different than your normal reading vlog. Not so much talking, just a lot of fun vacation b-roll but I had a lot of fun filming it and a lot of fun editing it just reliving what I did on vacation so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed as always thank you so much for watching I hope you read a good book today and I will see you again soon in my next one bye